All right, Shalom. First and foremost, and give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rabbi Kakwadash. Double on sale, apostles, a great millstone that taught me his truth and blessings, all you sincere labors out there. Pushing his truth in all sincerity and faith and honesty. And also, uh, blessings to you, a uh, few sisters out there listening and learning and believing. Okay, uh, I'm not fellow servant, cannot clock coming to you once again, JMS 10 Bay 12. I'm Paul from Servant St. Petersburg, Florida. Yahweh Shai, the Holy One, like, thank you, Yahweh Shai, Shai. Putting the spirit on me to do another lesson. You know, this is the lesson on my spirit real quick. Um, watching certain videos and, you know, just, just uh, discerning the, the times that we're living in. All right. Uh, it's, it's crystal clear that, um, you know, it's, it's time to get up out of here. Hey, will 2020 be the year? Who knows? Lord's will, you know. Um, but you know, it's uh not too. F the day of the Lord is not too far off. All right, and uh, I'll try to title this lesson. Um, it's it's time to go home. All right, because matter of fact, I'll just get right into the precept. Uh, this Baruch uh, two and thirty. It says, "For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people." All right, and um, the Lord knew majority of our people will, will, will not uh, hear him and how is he speaking through his prophets, okay? Because they are stiff-necked people. Our people are stiff-necked, all right? Um, you, know, you can't really tell them nothing. They know it all, all right? And stiff-necked meaning stiff. You can't, you know, you can't turn your, your neck. It's just stiff. Like, you know, you, they walk past the camp. Uh, and they see us and, and they, they just keep their neck straight. They, you know, they're stiff neck, hard headed. Don't want to be uh, corrected. All right. Don't want correction. They will in what it is. They want to continue. All right. And their folly continue in this uh, uh, abominable world, this wicked world. All right. Because this world allows them to do as thou will. This world is of Satan. All right. Esau, Edom. The so-called white man this is his world and he's contrary to the to the ways and the thoughts of the heavenly father all right so it's pretty much the servant of flesh okay so it says but in the land of their captivity they shall remember themselves right and the majority that's talking about elect the one third they shall remember themselves and we have all right we we, we recognize that we come from a nation's of, of kings okay we, we recognize that and we we've seen the prophecies that we're supposed to be holy unto the lord all right we, we remember ourselves we remember what tribe what tribe we're from either right, israelite from the tribe of naphtali or israelite from the tribe of uh, uh asher or israelite from the tribe of issachar okay we know our respective tribes we, 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 we recognize that we are the sons of, of the Most High, man. All right? And that the sisters out there are, are the daughters of Zion. Okay? And we want to be those holy people. All right? We, that's what we desire. All right? We don't want to go off no more. We want the laws in our inward parts so we can be one with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and live peacefully and, and enter into that rest. You know, because this yoke is, is, is heavy. All right. I'm talking about from, from these nations. Yahweh Shai said my yoke is easy. But I'm talking about from, from these nations. It's oppression. You know, I don't have to go go through it. All right. Everybody feels it. The, the, the bills piling up. Barely put food in the table. It's like you barely put food on the table. Barely can keep food in the fridge. Car breaking down, you can't afford your car breaking down because you live in check to check. All right, and then you constantly being milked, 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 milked every day. All right, from the pollution to the food and, and so on and so forth. This yoke, all right, we want to be from a monk. David said, um, Deliver me from these strange children. All right, strange means foreign. Why? Because their their ways are strange. Their ways are. David said, uh, "Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way." Okay. So uh, they're strange. Because strange to us is is strangers. 
with those outside of the law, man. All right. Those not following the law, statutes, commandments. Yes, we have, you know, Israelites of our nation that 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 that's not you know following after our, our customs, but you know those the ones that that can be redeemed. All right, those are the ones being brought back to remembrance. But these other nations that have absolutely nothing to do with that covenant. All right, they're they're strange. Okay, so reading on, it says, verse thirty one, and shall know that I am the Lord. I am the Lord, their God, all right, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And, you know, all, you know, praises to Yahweh Shemi Al-Shai, call Allah Yahweh Shemi Al-Shai. But he gave us a heart, all right, a heart meaning a mind and ears of understanding, okay? That's why we're able to reflect back at these verses, reflect back at these words, and, and, and recognize and understand, yo, we, we got to make a change, man. Right? It says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And we are. And think upon my name. And the nation see this. You know, this is happening. That's why the end is being made manifest. Because Israel has been connected back with, with their Lord. With their Lord God. All right? It says, in return from their stiff neck. And from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sent before the Lord. All right. And we all had that moment when, you know, when we first get coming to this truth and we reflect like, man, you know, uh, we, we are we are the uh, sons of God. And, and look how we've been acting. Look, look what uh, manner uh, we, we've carried ourselves. Look how how unruly right, we were. OK. And we, and we remember we remembering that and we're sorrowful. Okay, our heads down, you know, coming, coming um, to the Lord, humble and meek. All right. Looking for our sins to be forgotten, you know, for our sins to be cast into the sea. All right. That's that's what we, you know, we, we, we are yearned for. It says, uh, blesses that man uh, who, who sins, you know, have, have not been impudent, uh, impudent of him. All right. He has not been held accountable for his sins. All right. It says, and I will bring them again into the land, which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. All right. So this is a promise. So all these other nations trying to uh, cleave on to this. But this was a promise made from, it says, unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. So that was a a, a, a chosen line. Okay. Because Abraham had more than one son. But it went from Abraham to Isaac unto Jacob. And not everybody is the descendants of Jacob. All right, not everybody is descendant is a descendant of Israel. Okay, it says, and they shall be lords of it, and we're gonna rule. All right, lords of it. I mean, we're gonna rule over these people. It says, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. All right, and that's ultimately that prophecy that uh, sea shall be as the sands of the sea, as the stars of heaven. Okay. It says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God. And that's the second covenant where he's going to put the uh, the laws and in our inward parts on our flesh. We're going to go from a stony heart to fleshly heart. All right. It says, and they shall be my people and I will go no and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. OK, so we're going to uh, be at rest. All right. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, what I why I made this video. You know, it's time to go home, man. All right. America, you know, is is in that place where we're going to be here for, you know, eternity where, you know, you think your kids, your kids, kids and their kids are going to grow up and things are going to continue as is. No. All right. That's something better than this than this that we're living in. And those of you uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that aren't woken up. All right. To this matter. All right. Um. You you know you're gonna be in your right mind soon, all right? You're gonna be put down, you know. Pretty much that's what you do, you know. You you put an animal down that's just uncon uncontrollable, okay? It has to be put down. And the good part about it was when you come back, all right, in the reincarnation, you can come back to the loins of the elect that made it, all right. Lord's willing, we are those men, and you're gonna be in your right mind, and you're gonna understand what what this ministry was all about. All right, you're going to understand that there was men, righteous men, 
through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rabakal Kutash, right through the Holy Spirit, all right, that, that was fighting for our nation, all right, that remnant, that righteous remnant that was fighting, that stood up, man, okay, that uh, uh, raised up and, 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 and uh, took a stance for Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all right. You're gonna realize those men that were on the corners, the love that they had, and you know, and you're gonna wake up to that everlasting shame. Okay, uh, this is Revelation 21 and one. It says, "And I saw a new heaven and a new earth." All right, you can uh, put this to a new dominion. All right, a new rule, a new heaven, a new earth. All right, you know, uh, you have the same, you have the same business, but it's under new management. All right, so it's gonna be the same earth. But it's gonna be under new new management, all right? Righteous, a righteous uh, uh, management, all right? Because it said we're gonna be lords over it. So reading on, it says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea, all right? So the first heaven and the first earth passed away, you know, because this current rule is gonna be taken down by one, uh, the, the missiles. All right, the Third World's War. All right, yeah, uh, you know it's, it's it's gonna pretty much take uh, civilization back to the Stone Age uh, because the, the destruction is gonna be so great. Then you have Yahweh Shai returning with the holy angels, the hosts of heavens, so-called UFOs, the chairs of Israel, and, and they're gonna uh, do the cleaning up. They, you know, they're gonna hit certain spots. They're gonna. Uh, 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 shoot laser beams at, at, at certain infrastructures and take it down and and also the, the people as well All right going to get burned up by those laser beams So the old world is, is gonna be you know Done away with okay all the weapons all right, all the chemicals all that stuff is gonna be burnt up All right, it says verse 2 and I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven All right, and that's the people all right coming down out of heaven because the scriptures say uh look neither here nor there for the kingdom of heaven is within you so when we're uh when we go up into the a whirlwind all right up into the chariots into the ships before the, the missiles drop all right we're gonna come down in those new bodies all right the the uh that 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 heavenly tabernacle uh awaits us man there's new bodies that don't get sick you know we're gonna be like superhumans man Okay, it says coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. All right, and that's how we're going to be beautiful, man. All right, no blemishes. Perfect. Okay, it says, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. All right, so the most high is going to be with us. It says, and the God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. And we're not going to die again, because why? We're not going to sin. Show you, this is talking about Israel, because the wages of sin is death. The only people that was given the law were the Israelites. All right, so no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. All right, so you ain't going to cry no more, man. Things ain't going to get hard for you no more. All right, the curse is going to be off us. You know, all you single uh, uh, women out there, Israelite no, Israelite women with children, you so-called minorities, black, Hispanics, Native American Indians, all right, um, you know, you ain't going to be left with a child no more. That's all with the curses, you know. You you know, you, you we're going we to eat, man. We're going to be full, all right. We're going we gonna to wax fat again, all right, but we're going we gonna to be righteous. It says, sorrow, no crying, neither shall there be any more pain, okay, because we, we hurt, man. We hurt. Uh, I remember uh, that one video, post-dramatic slave syndrome, where you got certain people that act the way they act because that was passed on through them. All right, that hurt and that pain from slavery was passed on through them all the way up to here. So you got a, a mother that's real wroth with her child or a father that's real wroth with their child. You know, a Jake, you know, majority of our people just heartless, you know, cutthroat. They hate, they hate one another. You know, all that stuff was sown in their spirit. 
all the way from slavery. We were never healed from slavery. All right, uh, hardcore bondage. All right, where well, well, we we have chains on on our on our hands and around our neck, yokes around our neck. All right, those that, those pains still affect us to the day because we still treat our brother as such. We still fight a, amongst each each other, or right? we still have hate for each other. When you know that's not how not how we're not supposed to be, man. We're, we're supposed to love one another. All right. It says, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All right. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Okay. It says, and he said unto me, It is done. All right. It is done. It's finished. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him. That is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. All right. So we're going to drink. Water represents life. All right. So we're going to actually live. All right. Because we're, we're, we're not living right now. We're just existing. As I quote uh, wise men. You know, uh, we're not living, man. We're just existing because this, this isn't life. All right. And it's this concrete jungle. All right. No fresh air. Uh, pollution like this isn't life man it says and I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely verse 7 listen he that overcomes shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son alright so it's time to go alright yeah with that being said it's time to go Akim but you know things are going to get a lot a lot worse before they actually uh get better all right we you know we be coming into uh, some 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 horrific times you know that that can't even be described because there was never a time like it but um you know the lord's going to shorten those days so he can come back and save his elect just hold the faith all right keep the faith and and and, and pray and pray man ask the lord for strength to 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 uh, endure these times is coming because you're gonna need it all right you're not gonna be able to go through this by yourself ask the lord for strength believe on the lord pray to him call on him believe him and he will deliver you okay he will deliver you but you gotta call on him you gotta believe him all right and, and that's pretty much it okay so with that you know lord will you edify giving all praise to y'all watching y'all shy the one said, Apostles, the great millstone, told me his truth and blessings to you, sincere labor, other Christians, truth, and all sincerity and faith and honesty, and also to you, a uh, few sisters out there listening, and learning, and believing it. Believing it, all right? Believing in Yahweh, watching me on Shai. Shalom. Mm -hmm.